Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, so really quick, let me uh, let me explain what I what I did here. So I'm using this dowling jig to make the uh, the uh, holes where I'm gonna want the. Uh, where I'm going to want the um, the dowels to sit, and the jig's important, and you can you can actually make these yourself. But this is a fairly uh, uh, good jig, I think, at uh, least in the limited time that I've been using it. Um, and it makes it really really easy to uh, make sure that they are that the holes are precise and exactly where you want. So I actually did this backwards. Um, I actually drilled the face holes before I drilled the edge holes and you're actually supposed to drill the edge holes and then use those to make sure to line up the uh, face holes so hopefully this all lines up uh, I'll test it here in a second but basically uh, what you do is this is a 2x6 so I put this on a um, for the uh, the edge holes I put this on a uh, three-quarter uh, offset and then you set it on there and then that basically makes these holes end up in the center uh, of the uh, the board okay and then what you're supposed to do is then and I did it backwards is take the board that you're gonna have the face on you're supposed to figure out basically where you want your holes to line up, the center of your holes. Measure out uh, two inches, and again, this is all backwards because I did it backwards. Uh, so this is my two-inch line, and then you're supposed to line that up. Now, what you're actually supposed to do is take your edge board, put the center dowel in, and then uh, do the same thing, but uh, use the center dowel to then line up, and then you would clamp, and then you would drill your holes. So I think, I think these are going to work, but I need to get this on the floor so I can, uh, so I can check it out. So I'll do that. Okay, so um, those, uh, as you can see, they line up. Uh, you can't see my pencil mark. That's that's about as close as uh, as I can hope for. Um, so that works out well. Uh, I'm not going to glue this yet. I'm going to do the other one uh, and then make sure that the foot piece uh, fits, and then uh, we will uh, we will go from there. So yeah, so that worked out well, even though I I did that backwards. Uh, but that jig works works really nice. So you have I have three lines here. This is the um, outer edge of the two by six, and then so that's where I want the outer edge of it to be. This is the center of the 2x6 where I want these the dowels to, to be. And then this is just there just for reference. And then two inches out from this is this other line that I don't think you can see, but there's a line that goes along here where you line up the edge of the jig. And then what you're supposed to do, and I didn't do last time, but what it helps to make sure that um, the boards line up is you put the center uh, dowel in and then you um, use this uh, notch in here and you line up both sides of the, uh, the board. You uh, can use a square to make sure that, that everything's lined up. And then you uh, center the uh, the jig this way, going this you know this this direction uh, within that that pin to make sure that when you set them together uh, upright, uh, that the top and the bottom of the boards line up as well as the left to right. Pull that out of the way, and then drill the holes. Sure. 
were going to make some weird pattern or anything, you can use this, uh, this, uh, uh, metal pin to stick in the jig. So if you were going to do something where, like, I don't know, uh, if I wanted another hole, you know, right here, say, then I can, uh, take the pin, I can line this up, and then take the pin, and then slide it in there, and then that would give me uh, the ability to, and then, you know, clamp this still, but then that would give me the ability to drill that hole and have it end up uh, right in line with the others so everything would uh, match. footage there of me putting some dowels in the uh, dowel holes that I had previously drilled. The reason for that is on the header or on the headboard end uh, I was off on the measurements so what I did was I just took a piece of regular uh, 3 8 dowel and as you saw in the video uh, a little glue in the hole and then tap this in. I used the regular just straight flat or not flat but smooth uh, 3 8 3 8 dowel because it's a little bit bigger than the dowels that you're actually use uh, for the joint so it fits a little bit tighter in there than these do uh, you notice I had to tap them tap these in there and then just used the, uh, used a flush cut saw to, to trim the excess off and then sanded it smooth um, and then redrilled the holes
Okay, so as you can see, I decided to glue the uh, frame together, glue the dowel joints together before trying to put the legs on. I'm not sure if this will uh, work out for the best. Uh, my concern is, is that it's gonna wanna, when I start to work with it to put the legs on, that it's gonna wanna twist and then break those joints. But at the same time, I feel like I want the frame to be somewhat together before I start to put the legs on. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, I've only got the two clamps, I can only do one side at a time, I would like to do both at the same time, uh, but I only have the two clamps and I need uh, a clamp for the top uh, the top and the bottom of the 2x6. That helps, particularly on this end board which has a bow and it helps sort of bring it together uh, with the face of the, uh, the side rail. So. Um, I'll let this dry overnight and then I will do the right hand side and we'll go from there. A little bit more than halfway, but works out. Hey Adam. Yeah? Can you help me get Wilbur his pill? Yep. Wilbur! It's Phoenix. 